Hi, welcome back to Strength and Heal Connect. My name is Kat Thomas. Um, so such a stark background today. We're going to be going through two different really great strengthening moves for uh, learning how to get into a handstand. Yes, I said it, a handstand. Um, I have played around with handstands for a lot of years and my problem is not getting upside down, it's staying uh, inverted for a period of time that I deem worthy for myself. And finally, with all this extra juicy time, I decided let me listen and learn and kind of start from the beginning, go through that beautiful middle part of learning instead of trying to rush to the end. And I figured why not share what challenges and inspires with you all. So, First things first, don't be scared of your own body and yourself. And uh, yeah, the floor will always catch you. So if you are a little nervous about coming down or falling, just put some nice blankets and pillows around you and uh, just protect yourself. And most important, always honor your own edge. So first thing, we're gonna turn ourselves. I have this nice flat uh, wall. I've moved some of the things that are surrounding in case I do flop over that I don't hit myself. And we're gonna take our feet, we're gonna flatten them towards the wall, okay? So our toes flex up to the ceiling. And wherever you are, you're gonna place those beautiful hands, fingertips facing the sit bones and roll the shoulders back. And we're just gonna twist over, place one hand where the other is, and then shoulders distance apart. We're gonna bring the palms down. So in any of my classes that I am guiding you through, you'll hear me talk about this a lot. Whenever your palms are meant to be down, you want the hands flat, fingertips spread. Gives you a little more uh, cushion and balance. And you want your wrist to be just underneath aligned with the shoulders. Shoulders distance apart to me is three fists in a width. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do a little L type formation on the wall behind you. So I'm gonna stay looking at the camera a bit just to kind of keep the guidance, but you wanna just keep your, your gaze just out in front of you and on the floor, protect that back. You wanna draw the navel in towards the lower back. This whole time also, Please keep breathing. And if you want to smile, it'll definitely help. So then you're just going to start walking yourself up. Just pick up gently. Use the strength of your palms that are flat on the floor. Your head's naturally going to drop. You're going to roll the shoulders back. And you're going to hold here. So draw the navel in. Nice flat back. And let's breathe through five breaths together here. If you can use the Ujjayi breath, you're gonna seal the lips and breathe out through the nose. Push off from the fingertips and you wanna not hollow out the back. So don't arch yourself or as they say, maybe banana back. You wanna really push off, let the shoulders come back. Nice, strong form. One more deep breath through the nose and slowly exhale. So protect yourself, walk yourself back down and let the head rock down. Maybe shake out the wrists, roll the shoulders out and slowly you can bend at the knees. Let's bring the arms up, take a deep breath and exhale, release. Okay. So that was one exercise that you can do daily. It'll not only increase your strength in the core, your arms, but it's also gonna allow a lot of blood and oxygen back towards the brain. And what does that do? You can tell me after uh, this video if it helps you think, be more positive, and be more accepting of just how wonderful you are. So our next, uh, sort of strength training move that we would do to start learning how to do our handstands, we're gonna actually just come back towards the wall. We're gonna turn towards it. You wanna place your hands back down on the floor. Again, 
flat hands, fingertips spread out. So you don't wanna to be too close to the wall. If you are, you're gonna end up hitting your head. So I like to gauge if my hands are straight out in front of me, my fingertips are just barely grazing the wall. So then I just walk in and you can just come up here. So you place your hands down and you're just gonna start kicking the, the legs upwards. And see, that wall is gonna catch you. And when you're there, that's a wonderful thing. So we're upside down, we're nice and inverted, we're pressing off from the palms. And if you want, carefully walk yourself back so you are supported all the way on the wall. Now again, that might take a little bit of time. Hold yourself up as long as possible. Remembering shaking just means that you are alive. So inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, and exhale, palms come down. So a little variation with our L uh, stand here. I'm just gonna kind of maneuver that through. Again, we're gonna find our way here, flex the feet, palms come behind you. You're gonna bring the legs up. And you can just start lifting one at a time, keep those hips even one foot off and lifting it up towards the sky, pointing the toes, one breath for each movement. So this will start giving you that sensibility of lifting off and shooting the legs up when you are ready. Okay, and then another variation. As we start coming closer to coming into this formation, There you go. You can just slowly one leg at a time. Remember to point the toes. And if you wanna try and let both those feet come off the wall, really push into the hands, shoulder blades giving you the support, and just play around with coming off the wall. And then coming down, inhale, big reach up and exhale, release. So if you wanna play around with those, try that. It takes about five minutes each day. You'll really start increasing not only your wrist, your arm, your core strength, but again, letting some of that juicy oxygen and blood flow to that beautiful brain so you can feel a lot brighter and better in your day. Join me for another session of Strength and Heal Connect as we go through the beauty of the Ujjayi breath. Coming soon. Cheers.